Hello everybody, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you all how to install the latest version of the SR Lounge Lightroom preset system, which is version 5.1. Now, one of the cool things with version 5.1, something new, is that we've added an installer to both the Windows and the Mac edition of the presets. So installing your presets is gonna be that much easier now. All right, so all we're gonna do is whether you're in Windows or in Mac, I'm in Windows right now and I have the presets downloaded. It's right here on my desktop. If you're on Mac, you're just going to download the Mac version and install the Mac OS X version of the presets. All we're going to do is double click on it. It's going to bring up a little dialogue. Now, what this is basically saying in case you're like me and you don't like to read these kind of things is basically just if you have a previous installation of the SR Lounge preset system, it's asking you to basically remove it and back up whatever you might need to back up before basically running this installer. Why? Because whatever has the same name as these presets are going to be overwritten and anything with different names are going to basically be duplicates. So all the uh, presets from basically the previous version, all the names have changed. So if you don't remove it before installing, then you're going to have a bunch of duplicate presets, which isn't the end of the world. We just need to manage it. Now I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second, but first let's just install it on this machine. We haven't installed it yet. And so this is going to be a fresh new install. If I open up Lightroom, then you'll see that we don't have any presets installed. It's just all the user stuff here. So I'm going to close out Lightroom now. And again, if you are a first time user, whether you're Windows or Mac, just run the installer, click on install. You don't need to worry about anything. So that's what we're going to do now is click on install. And you can see how quick and easy it was. We're actually done. We're all done installing. So I'm going to click on finish now and let's load up Lightroom. We can see all of our presets now installed. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so on the left side, we have all of our developed presets. If we go to the right side, we select a brush or a, uh, you know, any of these uh, graduate filters or radial filters, anything. You can go and click on the effect and you'll see all of the different brush presets available to you. And also if we hit Control Shift E or Command Shift E on a Mac, you will see in our export, we have the SR Lounge preset system export presets as well. So the presets have been installed correctly and we're done. Now, for those of you that are installing, you're updating to a newer version of the presets, let me show you what you're gonna do. All you're gonna do is get into Lightroom first, okay? So don't install or don't run the installer yet. Hop into Lightroom. I'm going to deselect this little brush so it doesn't show up. This is going to work the same whether you're on a Windows or a Mac machine. So all we're going to do is just click on one of these presets and I'm just going to right click on any preset here. It could be any of them because all I want to do is to tell me where it is inside of Finder or inside of Explorer in Windows. So I'm just going to click the Show in Explorer option here. Now it's going to bring up the preset folder. There is another way to get here. So let me just show you that other way real quick in case this one doesn't make sense or you don't know how to do it. From Lightroom, all you're going to do is hit control comma or command comma on a Mac. That brings up the preferences dialog. So we can also go to the preferences tab and just click on show Lightroom preset folder. Either way, we're just trying to get to the Lightroom presets folder. Doing it this way basically takes you directly to this specific preset folder. And so we just basically have to click back one or two folders to get to the actual Lightroom folder. Okay, so what we're gonna do from here is I'm gonna maximize this. And what I will do is if I have a previous installation of the SR Lounge preset system before running the installer, I'm just gonna go in and delete that previous basically installation. Now what you don't want to do is remove any of the previous custom mixology that you might have created on your own. What we're going to do that is after we install the new version of the presets, we can just drag and drop them into this my mixology folder right here. Okay, so I'm just going to delete these. We're going to pretend like this was a previous version of the preset system. I'm going to go back and we're going to do the same thing in local adjustments. I'm going to delete all these out. We're going to pretend like those were a different version. And also under the export presets, I'm going to go into here and we're going to delete out the SR Lounge preset system as well. At this point, this is when you're going to go and you're going to run the installer. Okay, so let's just go back and show you one more time. We're going to run the installer now. Click on install. Click finish, and now if we go and look at that presets folder again, we see, let's double click here, we can see all of our presets back and installed. So that's it. Hopefully this installer makes it that much easier to get your presets installed and up and running, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.